appreciation. We have lots of different ways that we show appreciation. Think about it. There's Bosses Appreciation Week. There's Teacher Appreciation Week. There's Parent Appreciation Week. There's Friendship Appreciation Days. And we have tons of different holidays for which we can appreciate different things. And appreciation is something we build into our schedule. But how do we show appreciation on a daily basis? I will say that as a teacher, it's always really nice when a student comes by and says, hey, I really like this lesson, or an alum comes back and says, you really changed my life for the better, or different accolades like that. It makes you feel good. Think about when somebody gives you a present. You generally feel very good when you get a present because a present shows some sort of appreciation for you. If it's a birthday present, you are being appreciated for the day that you were born and for the fact that you're here on this planet. And if it is a present during a holiday, they're sharing that holiday or the person giving you the present is sharing that holiday with you through the giving of a gift to you. Again, showing their appreciation that you are in their lives. When you go to somebody and say, hey, what's going on? How's your day? You are showing appreciation for that person, saying you mean enough to me in my life that I'm asking how you're doing. Or think about when a friend needs that shoulder to cry on or needs that open space to vent or, or just needs a, a person in their life just sitting quietly with them. You are showing them appreciation because you're giving of yourself to that person. But you know where I'm going with this because this has been like a theme for us at Mindful Me over the past five or six weeks. When do we show appreciation for ourselves? The fact that you're taking this time to meditate, the fact that you're taking this time to mindfully breathe, that is awesome. And that is the very best step that you could ever do in showing appreciation for yourself. You're taking this time for you to be with yourself and your thoughts, whether you are listening to this meditation by yourself or whether you and a group of friends are listening to this meditation together, the fact is you are taking time to look within. What else do you do for yourself? Well, you get up every day and hopefully take a shower and brush your teeth, that's showing appreciation for yourself because you're taking care of your body by showering and brushing your teeth. You eat, and that's showing appreciation for yourself because we as humans would not be able to survive without food. You drink water, that's also showing great appreciation for yourself. Some of you might be involved in a sport or work out, and that's taking care of our physical bodies. Going to school and doing your homework or going to work and performing what necessary functions that you need to to do your job that is showing appreciation so you can accomplish something but i think outside of the day-to-day things and, and and i think that you will find that you show appreciation for yourself way more than you think it doesn't have to be that you meditate for an hour every day and do yoga every day and now those things are awesome and would be fantastic aren't necessarily the only ways to show appreciation for yourself So what we're going to do today is we're going to look inward and we're going to discover the ways in which we want to show appreciation to ourselves. So I equate it to this. And again, if you hear the airplane overhead or some of the water, I am recording this meditation outside. It is such a beautiful day and I just want to be outside for a little bit to share my thoughts. So I apologize for some of those noises. But think of of this and and showing appreciation to to yourself. Let's say that you had to get a gift for somebody. I mean, there's many ways that we can get a gift. We can go to that person and we can say, hey, what do you want for your birthday? Or we can ask other people that are really good friends or family members of that person say, hey, what do you think so-and-so would like for their birthday? Or you could kind of like have a conversation with someone and just kind of like poke and prod at some of their likes and dislikes to give yourself some ideas. 
or hopefully it's somebody that you know really, really well. You know them so well that through the amount of time that you've known them and been acquainted with them, you just know what they really like and what they don't like so that you can get the most perfect gift. But in all that time that you get to know a friend or a family member in order to give them a gift, when was the last time you asked yourself what it is that you wanted? When was it the last time that you asked yourself, hey, how do I show appreciation to you? I know that sounds a little odd, We in our society tend to look at people that talk to themselves as needing a little bit of help. But in actuality, since we are our own best friend, we should be talking to ourselves more. I'm not saying go down in the middle of the street and start blabbing to yourself. What I am saying, though, is to connect with who you are inside and to have those internal conversations about what you need. So let's set that up today. We are going to go on a journey And we are going to have this incredible internal conversation about what it is you want and how you can show appreciation to yourself. So as always, let's get comfortable and you know the rules. I don't care if you're sitting up or laying down. What I do care about is that your spine is straight and that you are cognizant of your sleep. If you are really tired, it's the end of the day or in the beginning of the morning, and you think that laying down is going to cause you to fall asleep and sit up, but whatever position you feel is good, just keep your spine straight and just breathe in and out through your nose and just relax. With each breath that you are taking, you are feeling even more relaxed. Take a nice deep breath in through your nose. Let your stomach expand and hold it. And exhale through your mouth, letting your stomach flatten. I love these cleansing breaths. Let's take another nice deep breath in through your nose. Let your stomach expand and hold it. And exhale through your mouth, letting your stomach flatten. And just breathe normally in and out through your nose. If you feel comfortable, close your eyes. If not, just have a soft focus. And as we start to look inward, we are going to visit a place with a waterfall. We are going to visit a place where there is water. Water is cleansing. Water is peaceful. This might be the beach to you. This might be a beautiful pond with a waterfall in the mountains. This might be in an imaginary place where you want to go that you feel safe and happy. But whatever comes up to your mind is absolutely perfect. And you are going to go sit by the water. Now, this might be that you go into a pond or the ocean or a lake or a pool. Water is relaxing. Water is soothing. Water is comforting. And while you are near the water, you see yourself. As if you were looking into a mirror, but this self is not two-dimensional. It is three-dimensional, just like you are. And you're going to have the best conversation with another person that you've had in a while. Talk to them, to you, as if you would talk to a friend at work or at school or out socially. Get to know them. And while you're getting to know them, your job is to figure out what it is that they want most. Whether it's an actual gift or something different. Take your time. And enjoy.
And as you continue to speak with yourself, your stuff starts to shimmer and actually disappear. But as that's happening, you actually feel really full of joy and your heart feels full. Sometimes conversations can be short like this one was, and I'm sure that many of you want to continue. And the beauty of this is all you have to do is close your eyes and you're there. Whatever place that you want to continue this conversation with yourself. But just as it's a friend's birthday, the most important thing is you actually go through with the gift. Today you learn some really great things about how to show yourself appreciation. Keep your word and do something, something for you to show you how much you appreciate yourself. If we don't treat ourselves well and we don't show appreciation for ourselves, we can't be our best for others. What a great thing to do to connect with yourself. So as you continue to breathe normally in and out through your nose, with each breath you're becoming more and more focused and more and more grounded and more and more back into your physical self. The air around you tends to dissipate and you're definitely way more aware of the physical world around you. So let's take a nice deep breath in through your nose, let your stomach expand and hold it. And exhale through your mouth, letting your stomach flatten. As you continue to breathe in and out through your nose and Here are the multitude of airplanes that have gone over our head. We become more and more grounded, more and more in your physical body, more and more aware. Wiggle your toes, wiggle your fingers. And when you're ready, gently open your eyes to face the rest of your day with strength, love, joy, peace, compassion, and contentment. And if this is at the end of your day and you are ready to go to sleep, to have the best night's sleep that you've had in a while, dreaming of only good, positive, and loving things. And as you continue to breathe and continue to move, I say to you, welcome back.